Okay, let's get into the herb category. Hey again, this is Dr. Smith, and right now we're going to talk about one of the most well-known herbs for boasting, boosting the immune system, echinacea. Now, I'm not saying it's necessarily the best or the worst herb for helping the immune system, but since just about everyone's heard of it, we're going to talk about it now. Echinacea is a flowering plant in the daisy family, also known as coneflower. Although there are nine species of echinacea, only three are used in herbal remedies, echinacea purpurea, echinacea angustifolia, and echinacea pallida. Now you try saying those three times fast. Echinacea plants are loaded with plant compounds that function as antioxidants. These antioxidants appear to be higher in extracts from the fruit and flowers of the plants compared to other parts such as the leaves and the root. Now if you remember from some of our other videos, Antioxidants also help the immune system function better and protect the white blood cells from some of the chemicals they produce to kill viruses and germs. They seem to do this by energizing the ability of macrophages to destroy germs as well as increase the effects of natural killer cells and T lymphocytes. It also increases the secretion of interleukin-1. Now there are numerous studies that say echinacea can prevent the common cold or shorten its duration by several days, but there are also a lot that say that it doesn't. Now it's also been shown to lessen chronic inflammation. Most people don't realize that inflammation is actually an inflammatory um, immune response, which when it becomes chronic isn't a good thing. Echinacea appears to be safe and well tolerated for short term use. Some potential side effects are rashes, itchy skin, hives, nausea, and shortness of breath. So here's a hint. If you have allergies to daisies or other flowers like chrysanthemums, marigolds, or ragweed, you might be better off staying away from echinacea. Now you should also avoid it if you have an autoimmune condition and although there are reports in the Archives of Inter Internal Medicine and the Canadian Journal of Clinical Pharmacology suggesting that it's safe for, for pregnant and nursing women, they really should only use it under a doctor's supervision. Now, echinacea seems to be better as a preventative rather than for a treatment. Although some studies suggest it can shorten the length of a cold if you take it as soon as you feel symptoms coming on. Now, I've always been taught to take it in cycles because your body can develop a resistance to some of its components. The cycle I usually use is six weeks on and two to four weeks off. People will often start taking it in the beginning of cold and flu season, take a short break in the middle, then start up again until the season ends. Dosing can be pretty tough because there's no standard for this type of supplement. You can't say take 200 milligrams or 400 milligrams per day because unfortunately it's not standardized. So I hate to be a cop out, but if someone asks, I usually tell them that if they get it from a reputable company, take the dose recommended on the bottle. Now if you think this information about echinacea was helpful, please share it with friends who you think may benefit from it too. If you have any questions, put them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to answer you. Look for more videos in our series about natural ways to boost your immune system. If you want to make sure you don't miss them, like and follow our page.